Hey everyone, Rachel here from my own living room. Um, I'm going to miss seeing you guys this week at youth group, um, but I still wanted to bring you some truth and just talk to you about the stuff I was going to be teaching on, um, which will probably now transfer to teaching you um, through videos online. Um, we're going to have some ideas coming out uh, as a youth team uh, to help you stay in touch um, in the coming weeks, so keep looking for that, and, and some resources we'll be talking about, um, some devotionals or studies we might point you to. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a little video here on the identity uh, lesson that I was going to be teaching, um, so I hope you'll uh, hang around and listen to it. Um, really big stuff. Um, identity being like a core, a core thing, uh, all of us. And all of you guys I know are asking um, the question of, of who am I? Um, so yeah, who are you? Um, it's really, like I said, a core foundational question um, that depending on how we answer it, uh, it affects our lives, um, it affects our decisions, our choices, um, our behaviors in a very good way or a very bad way. Um, we have words, a lot of words in our English language, of course, but we have words like um, when uh, that's used to describe time. We have where, which is used to describe place or space. And then we have this word who, uh, which is used to describe our identity. Um, what that's, that's what this next series is all about, our identity. And uh, just a fun fact, the word identity isn't actually used in the Bible that I'm aware of. But the word who is found thousands of times, and so um, we can uh, glean instruction from the Bible on that. Um, also, spoiler alert, um, many of you are probably thinking, okay, we're doing this identity series. Um, I already know what she's going to say. Like, she's going to say, our identity is in Christ. Um, and, yeah, um, that's part of it. Uh, that's a statement that's thrown out a lot. Um, but I want to go deeper. I want you to get you thinking a little bit deeper, um, thinking just about what identity is and, um, yeah, uh, why it can be found in Christ and why that makes sense. And so I know you guys are all very capable of thinking deeply. Uh, sometimes it takes practice, uh, but I'd encourage you all to think uh, more deeply on these things we're going to be talking about and um, to just think more deeply on God and who he is and his word that he gives us. Um, after all, I think you have a little more time to be thinking deeply, right? So anyway, so first off, what is identity? Okay. If you look it up on Google, uh, you're going to get something to the effect of um, identity will say it's being who you are. Um, it has a little more in there talking about like uh, other objects, like a chair is a chair. Um, but yeah, as in regards to people, it's being who you are. It's the totality of who you are. So how do you know who you are? What would you say? Like maybe right now you're like thinking, Rachel, I'm a hot mess. Um, you know, this is going on and this is going on. I'm a failure. I'm a whatever. Um, maybe you don't really know. Uh, maybe you're like, well, I think I know some things about me. Um, but I don't really know, like, who I am. Uh, maybe you're thinking of things that you're good at. Um, you're good at. I'm good at sports. I'm good at music. I'm good at art. Um, I'm good at uh, taking care of people. Um, I'm good at cooking. Whatever it is. Um, and so, here's the next question. How, all those things that you're thinking of, how, how did you figure out all those things? Um, you had to have been told them by someone or something. Um, you had to discover, you had to have discovered them from some source, right? Um, and so uh, we're going to be thinking about that even deeper. And so here's the, here's the deeper question even, I guess, okay? Um, how do you know that those things you're thinking are true, the things about you? How do you know they're true? So, in your head, rewind back as far as you can to, like, the earliest memory you have, okay? It's probably when you were pretty young. Um, and then I'm going to push you to go back even further, which doesn't make sense, because you're like, well, I can't really remember that, and that's okay. 
I want you to just think in your head um, about when you were born, or actually when you were conceived, um, and like, oh, I really don't know anything about that, and now it just got awkward. Okay, well, it's okay. But from the minute you started growing, okay, you had life, um, did you know anything about yourself at that point? Maybe while you were growing in your mother's womb, um, you heard things from the outside like, oh, precious little baby or uh, sweet little baby girl, or maybe you even heard your name um, in those earliest times growing in the womb. Um, maybe when you were born and uh, the first thing you heard is, it's a boy, or maybe you didn't hear anything because you were screeching, crying really loud, okay, but you've probably gathered that we really start from knowing nothing about ourselves. And then information starts coming in slowly, right? Uh, some of it true, uh, some of it not, as we, as we grow up. Um, some comes from really trustworthy sources, and some of it not from trustworthy sources at all. Um, but we let everything around us define uh, who we are. Um, oftentimes we believe stuff whether it's a lie or whether it's a truth sometimes, um, we get deceived. Um, it kind of even just talks about this concept in James, so if you wanted to study that, um, this idea that we can deceive ourselves um, even in who we are. Um, and so, um, so let's think about um, why or how we can, we can know this, okay? So all of creation... Everything that's created that you can look around outside, um, it, it points to this creator. That there, had to be, there had to be something that created it. Um, our bodies, even, we look at our own bodies uh, and their amazing design, um, how just stuff works and heals and uh, grows, and they all point to an amazing designer, okay? Scientific discoveries, um, like how the whole, uh, they've discovered how the whole universe had a beginning, okay? And we know that we have each had a beginning. Um, and so everything, this is getting apologetics on you a little bit. So everything that has a beginning, or sorry, everything that begins to exist has a cause. Um, so something that has caused it to exist. Things don't just pop out of nothing. Um, you, you have to have something. Uh, nothing comes from nothing. Um, if so, things would still be popping up randomly here where we live. Um, but nothing comes from nothing. Uh, everything that begins to exist has to have a cause, okay? Um, and so, uh, we've also been given this book, um, the Bible, okay, this is a big study Bible. Um, they all look different, but this book um, describes this beginning of the universe um, and attributes it to God. Um, that God is the one that caused it. Okay, uh, this book, this whole book, is from God to us. Okay, and it's declared as truth. Um, this truth tells us God made the world and everything in it. It tells us God formed each of us. Um, he knows us. Uh, he knitted us together. He knew us before we were born. Um, so wouldn't it make sense uh, that the one who knows us that well, the most, would be able to define us the best? Uh, wouldn't it make sense that this God who knows us most and formed us, that he's given us an identity, whether uh, he's given us an identity when we're born, whether we know it, okay, um, whether we choose it, or believe it, or not, and um, whether we accept it or reject it. Um, that identity that he's given us um, would be true also, whether we accept that or not. 